everybody that participated in this conference and thank you all for being here. But I'm also trying to put a positive spin on everything at the end of the day. Yet at the same time, I'm a realist to a certain extent here. And while I try to see the glasses half full as opposed to half empty, I agree with everything that Jonathan has said. I agree with Anne that I think things are, um, I think the interest, the science, everything is, is moving in the right direction. I'm sympathetic to Tamar and the issues that are going on around cost. I think we have real issues with costs for our patients right now, nor seeing uh, a tremendous amount of pressure on drugs being tiered into categories now where um, they're no longer available um, to patients. But I, I really want to take off the, the, the three-month glasses and come back and look at the two-month glasses right now because I can tell you that I am, I am really concerned for all of us in this room around uh, the crisis that we're facing in this city the inability of this city to be able to make decisions that impact all of us. And I'm talking primarily about Congress. I'm talking about sequestration that's staring us in the eyes right now. The impacts that it's going to have not only on the FDA, on NIH, on science, on everything that's going to move forward to help patients, whether they're rare disease patients or not rare disease patients, but are just patients in general. Um, and I think that it's something that uh, we spent some time talking about here, but that we really need to, and I can tell you that NORD, as a patient organization, you're going to see is going to become extremely vocal um, about this issue on behalf of patients, because I think that uh, all of the plans that we're talking about for the future essentially aren't going to happen if the sequestration piece moves forward in any kind of fashion. I recognize that our economy is... Uh, is it's, the economy is difficult right now, but the sequestration piece basically um, pulls the rug out from under us in lots of different ways. And so I think, uh, I just want you all to know that I'm looking at that immediately, and I recognize that the future is positive. But the future is gonna have, we're gonna have a hard time getting to the future until we get over this bump in the road right now. And uh, I just want to say that NORD is going to start to play a very active role, pulling together all of the patient organizations, and on a national basis, start to be out there talking about the issue and quantifying the issue for, so that the congressional people hopefully can make a better decision than no decision. And I can tell you that generally, as, as Chris Austin said when he was here at lunchtime, that a lame duck Congress coming back generally is lame, and, require, and having worked with them over the last couple of years and seeing how lame they have been on some basic things that we've tried to get accomplished, that I think the next few months are going to be a real challenge for us, and we've got to make some noise, talk about the issue, bring it to the forefront, and talk about the impact it's going to have on patients if the sequestration piece goes through. So for me, I'm looking between now and January 2nd, um, as my window because everything else on my game plan changes based upon what happens on that day. So um, I'm trying, I want to end on a positive note and say everything else that we're talking about here is good, but we all need to pay attention to that and we're going to be back in touch with every one of the groups because we need to take a leadership role on this. So thank you.